Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And today we are doing an unboxing. We are doing a witchy mystery box. Now we're getting close to my birthday and whenever I'm close to my birthday, I always give myself excuses to buy things I want. And so this huge box is from a company called The Witch's Box. Um, I will be sure to link it all below. Uh, they do subscription boxes and such. And what I was really excited about is twice a year, they do these mystery boxes and they just have tons of stuff in them. They sell out super quick. And I've actually seen on the channel Engineering Magic, I will link her channel right here. Um, I've seen on her channel unbox one of these mystery boxes and it was fabulous. And I was like, oh, I would love to get one of those. And so when I saw that the mystery boxes were up, I, I splurged and got one. This is a hundred dollar box. Um, I believe their subscription, monthly subscription boxes are a little less. I think they're like 85. Um, and what can be in here are surprise items, but also a lot of items from their monthly subscription boxes. So I'm very excited about this. Um, as you can see, it's it's like wrapped up. So if you um, didn't want people to know you're getting like a witchy subscription, just know it comes like this and it doesn't say anything on here about it. So it comes kind of, you know, with privacy. So let's open it up. It smells really good, oh my goodness. Just opening the plastic it smells really nice. Here is the box. This is huge. This is a huge box. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, it smells really good, y'all. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks so beautiful and it's just packed just packed. So, okay. So on the tissue paper, there is a sticker. I don't know if you can see it. That says Blessed Be. Super cute. It's also got that moth design. Here, let me show you that. Super pretty. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at all the stuff in here. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. So we have a tarot card and it is the emperor. Now, to be honest, the emperor is a tarot card that I don't usually identify with, but it is one that I kind of feel like because it's not my strong suit, I should always pursue it a little more because it's out of my wheelbox. So I really like that I got this card because it is definitely out of my wheelbox. Then we got this cute little saying and it says, I am protected, shielded, and true warded, and armed I remain whole and untouched by harm. That's beautiful. Oh, okay, all right, so and then, this is coffin nails. So that's super neat. I'm gonna have to um, read all about these and read uh, what's the significance about them. So that's really cool. I, I don't know the significance behind these. Y'all, I love that I got this. I love this so much. I've seen this sticker on a lot of people's cars and I've definitely thought about putting it on my vehicle. Yo, I don't know, should I put it on my vehicle? I love this. Okay, so then this is a pamphlet of all kinds of stuff. Um, all kinds of things. I think these are spells and different, um, Yeah, different instructions for stuff, maybe of things that are in the box. Really beautiful. These are really, really beautiful. Oh my God, y'all, look at what's all in this box. I can't believe it. It's just so packed. Oh, wow. Look, a snake skin. 
I've never had a snake skin before. That's really neat. And here's another one. So I want to do uh, like a cabinet of curiosities. So that is perfect. Oh, and we got some feathers. Love those. So, yeah, I don't know what this is. I've never seen it before. So it says, Sachet powders can be dusted on the body with a powder puff. It can be added to baths, oil lamps, and can be used to dress candles. Many old-time spiritualists use these powders to dress petitions and important papers. Interesting. I'll have to read more about this. I know nothing about that. So that's really cool. Oh, beautiful. A dried sunflower bloom. Y'all, I'm getting so many great things for my cabinet of curiosities in here. Just that alone is really neat. Okay, so these, oh, these are citrine. I was going to say quartz, but this is citrine chips. Very cool. Love those. Mmm, this smells so good. So this is rose petals. Ah, uh, y'all, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited I got this. Uh, I think I'm going to put this in a box in my bedroom because oh, it smells so wonderful. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and then this is allspice. So is this really like allspice allspice? I don't actually know. I'm going to have to look this up. It doesn't smell like what you would cook with. I don't know. So I will have to look more into that. Okay. And next we have, um, it looks like a bottle um, of lemon, uh, essential oil lemon. And then it also has a dropper stopper. That's awesome. Lemon is a great thing to add to water. So I will definitely use this. This is a big bottle of lemon too. Ironically, I actually ran out of lemon juice. So cool. Oh, wow. It's a little box. Oh, how lovely. Look at this cute little box. So sweet. Very cute. And then on the bottom, it says new age imports, um, quality products. Oh, that's all it says in the bottom. So this is really cute. Um, it reminds me of the TV show Charmed, that symbol. Uh, yeah, very cute. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is, um, a mat for your pendulum. Um, when I do pendulum work, I am used to asking the pendulum uh, which directions mean what, um, but you can use a map. There's, that's another way to do it. Um, I don't like choosing the directions for the pendulum. I like the pendulum to choose what directions they are, but this is really cool. I might try this because, yeah, I've never had one before, so I might try it. Oh, y'all, this box smells so good. I can't even, like, describe how good this box smells. And look how much is left. Insane. So much in this box. Oh, my gosh. What in the world? I have no idea what this is. I, I really, I have no idea what this is. It's called Rose of Jericho. Smells good. It smells a lot more earthy than a flower. I have no idea what this is. This is wild. I'm excited. Oh, okay. Ooh, this stone is called sea heart or sea bean. Is it a stone or is it a seed? I think it might be a seed. It's like dark brown purplish in color. I actually think there was info about that in these sheets. Yes, there is info in these sheets about it. So I will have to look this up and read all about what I got.
Interesting. So this is a money drawing aromatic bath herbs. Super interesting. It's very cool. I'll have to look up how to use this. Um, I actually don't have a bath, so I might have to figure out an alternative way to use this, like maybe a, a foot bath soak or something. Very cool. On Engineering Magic, she really talks about using the items as like foot bath items because she doesn't like baths. And so that might be a good option for me. Ooh, ooh. There's things that are making noise in this sweet little silver pouch. Ooh. Oh, wow, this is so lovely. Y'all, you know me, I'm a sucker for jewelry. Oh, look it. So that is rose quartz. And I'm betting that's a quartz stone. Oh, this is so lovely. Ah, oh. yes, I love this. Oh my gosh, it feels really good on. Now, I love jewelry, but I don't think this is something I would have bought for myself. So I love that it came to me in this box. I super love this. This would be great for layering. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. this is a whole bag of carnelian. I'm going to have to look up the properties of carnelian. I don't know what their properties are. This is awesome. Next. Ooh, protection salts. Yes, 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 yes. I love protection salts. Super helpful thing to have. Oh, I don't know if I can get this off without ripping that label. So, so let's see if I can open it and show you what's inside. Come on. Oh, it smells amazing, y'all. Look at that beautiful protection salts. Love that. Oh, this is really cool. Love this. Um, I was actually running low on my protection salt, so this is awesome. Ooh, a protection bath kit. I love it. So this would be the same thing where I might do something else with this. So it might become like a foot, a foot soak or something. But that's a really cool ritual. Um, I think this will be something that I will keep around and use it when I feel I need it. I really like this. This is awesome. Little teeny bag here. Ooh. They look like little rune tokens. It's the best way I can describe them. They might not actually be runes. The symbols might mean something else and I might just not know. I'm, I'm wondering if there isn't explanations in those sheets that I have of these items. So these are really cool. They feel kind of like a wood material. Very neat. Okay, so this is gold lodestone. Um, it's a natural magnet and it attracts things like good luck and healing. I don't know if I've ever had this stone. It looks very similar to something um, back home we would call a clinker. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wild. It is like a magnet and little shards are attracted to it. I don't know if you can see that. Here, let me see. There's little shards of material sticking up on it and they're magnetized to it. I find that wild. I love this. That is that is really different. Another item for my cabinet of curiosities. That is awesome. Okay, Palo Santo, which is great. So I'm assuming this is just incense sticks. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is incense sticks. So. Um, I don't tend to burn incense sticks, so I don't know if I'll use these, but still pretty cool to get them. Oh, and something I was hoping would be in this box is a book. I was really hoping for a book in this box. Uh, Herbal Alchemist Handbook. 
Oh, this is awesome. A complete guide to magical herbs and how to use them. This is so great. This is gonna be really helpful with all the things in the box that I just don't know what they are. Okay, now we're getting down to the bottom. So now we have just a big red candle that might go with something in here. There might be a spell, I'm not sure. And then in this, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is just a big red table covering. Um, it's coming off more orange on camera than it is. It really is red. Um, it's a red orange, I guess. Um, I'm guessing this is just an altar covering. Um, I'm probably not going to use this, to be honest. Um, but okay. And then this is the last item. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Let's see what it is. scene the moon oh it's like a big tarot card image of the moon card that's so lovely oh I like that that's really neat honestly I don't know what I'm gonna do with this either um, but this is cool I like this much better than the altar covering and that is it y'all that was everything in the box I so I really loved this. What I loved about it was there's so much stuff that I don't know anything about. Um, I find that so much more interesting than getting a subscription box with like items I understand and know about. This is going to get me out of my comfort zone and get me to research and learn. Like, what is Rose of Jericho? I have no idea. I'm really excited to learn. Um, what are the properties of carnelian stone? I'm gonna learn that too. So I think this was fantastic. Um, if I had to name a thing that I love the most, I would say this necklace. I love this necklace. I love getting a book. Oh, that makes my heart just, oh. And this book is $20 USA. So that's $20 right here, just on this book. And I really do love the rose petals. Um, the protection salts, the um, lemon was something I actually needed, and I really like this this protection kit. I'm gonna hold on to this till when I think I need it. Oh my gosh! And these crazy rocks that were magnetic were so neat. Oh yeah, and the snake skins. I'm gonna use all that for different things. This is this was so great. So so I highly recommend you check this company out. This stuff is super fun. If witchy stuff is your vibes, um, this might be fun for you. Um, again, this was a mystery box. They only do twice a year. They do subscription boxes. I haven't done those. Um, so I will link the info to their company below. And that's it, y'all. Stay creative, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!